Richard was feeling down in the dumps. What's wrong? asked Thomas kindly. Well, I don't want to seem ungrateful, said Richard. Oh, but I do miss the old days. The Southern Railway was my home. I can't help but miss it at times. Thomas understood. I feel like that sometimes, but I wasn't on the mainland for as long as you were. Maybe you should speak to the Fat Controller. I'm sure he'd understand. But Richard didn't need to. The Fat Controller had already noticed, and one day he went to visit Stepney, the Bluebell Engine. I have a steam locomotive of great interest, he smiled. His name is Richard, and I would very much like for you to meet him. Oh yes, sir, thank you, sir, beamed Stepney. I'm sure you'll have a lot in common. He is an ex-Southern Railway engine, too. Stepney was thrilled. He set off early the next morning. Richard awoke at the sheds to find Duck and Thomas giddy with excitement. Oh, you two are up early, said Richard. The Fat Controller has got a surprise for you, grinned Duck. Oh, for me? Oh, how nice. Oh, what, 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 what is it? Who is it, you mean? chuckled Thomas. Richard was puzzled, but he wouldn't be for long. The signal dropped and from far away an engine whistled. Here he comes, yelled Duck. Stepney puffed into view. The engines whistled and cheered. This abruptly woke Gordon up, who was most annoyed. But the tank engines didn't care one bit. Stepney stopped on the turntable. He looked over to Richard. Hello, he peeped. Richard was aghast. Oh, you're, you're, you're Stepney. Well, that's me. Oh, the, 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 the bluebell engine. Oh, that's me. The, the, from, the, from the bluebell railway. <laughs> that's me again, laughed Stepney. I can't believe it. You're only the most famous tank engine in the world. Oh, 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 oh sorry, Thomas. Uh, I mean, one of the most famous tank engines in the world. Well, that's very kind of you to say so. I've heard many stories about you, Richard. I must say, you certainly left your mark here on Sodor. Richard was most flattered. As the engines were prepared for a day's work, they talked and laughed. Stepney and Richard reminisced about the old days of the Southern Railway. I'm surprised you don't pull the boat train, observed Stepney. Your class were excellent at it. Well, I didn't realise we had one, said Richard. Ah yes, Bear pulls it mostly. Maybe you should give it a try, encouraged Duck. Oh no, no, oh, I can't. Uh, oh, those days are long past me now. And so they should be, grumbled Gordon. The boat train is not an express anymore. It has been demoted to a stopping service. If it was of great significance, they would have given it to me. Just because you don't pull the train doesn't mean it's not important, huffed Thomas. Boat trains were the most prestigious trains in the South. They were always luxurious and were guaranteed connections with transatlantic liners, explained Stepney. Richard, you must have pulled some in your time. Well, I did. Oh, they were lovely fast runs. Oh, you couldn't be late. I felt like I could fly at times. Oh, and the coaches, they were so beautiful. It really was a golden age of travel. <sighs> but things changed, sighed Richard. I reckon you've still got it, said Stepney. Huh. Well, whatever you think he's got, he hasn't. If he had, he'd be used on the express, and since he isn't, then what he's got isn't there. Understand, grunted Gordon. Richard wasn't sure if he did. Honestly, my dear Richard, gossiping with tank engines, they're filling your smoke box with silly ideas. And Gordon huffed lordly away. <laughs> Bye.
Stephanie was put to work along the branch lines. Everyone was pleased to see him. But even though Stephanie was having a lovely time, he couldn't stop thinking about what Gordon had said. Richard has still got it, he puffed to himself. Gordon needs to see that. As luck would have it, that afternoon Stephanie was at the junction just as Bear arrived with the boat train. He told Bear all about Gordon and Richard. Well, Bear admitted, I don't really enjoy all in the boat train at all. All that stopping and starting is rather tedious. I much prefer good long runs. Would you mind swapping with Richard? asked Stephanie. You could take his goods while he takes the boat train. Well, that's fine with me, smiled Bear, as long as the Fat Controller agrees. The Fat Controller did agree, and all was arranged for the next day. News quickly spread around the yard. Reliving the past, eh, Richard? <laughs> How adorable. Oh, it is, isn't it? replied Richard sweetly. He's patronising you. Take no notice, grumbled Duck. I think, Gordon, you'll be pleasantly surprised, said Stephanie. I'll be the judge of that, Gordon remarked, and he huffed away to collect his express. A ferry leaves the harbour at the end of the line twice daily. It carries passengers, cars, lorries and freight. It sails to places such as Ireland, Scotland and the Isle of Man. The boat train used to be a non-stop express from the mainland and would serve much larger ships sailing to faraway destinations. But now it was much slower, stopping at certain stations to pick up passengers along the way. Even though the train had long lost its prestigious status, it always had to run to time. The ferry would wait for no one. Bear had always pulled this train. He had performed reliably, but in recent years grew tired of the service. Richard collected his coaches and set off with the boat train. He was very excited. Oh, we'll have a good run. I'll make sure of that, he called confidently. Richard was as good as his word. He picked up speed and hurried along the main line. At each station he stopped at, he quickly collected his passengers. Oh, get in quickly, please. Oh, we don't want to miss your bow, he announced. They did so, and Richard would rapidly accelerate out of the station. The driver and fireman, through no encouragement of their own, were surprised at how fast Richard was moving. We'll be ahead of time at this rate, noted the driver. Meanwhile, Gordon was racing along the main line with the express. Ahead, he could see Richard picking up passengers at a station. Watch this, he boasted to himself. Hurry, 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 he puffed importantly. But just as Gordon was about to overtake Richard, he started thunderously from the station. Gordon gloated as he glided past, but the last coach of his train had barely passed Richard when suddenly Richard was matching Gordon's speed. Within no time, Richard began to undertake the train. What on earth? exclaimed Gordon. Come on, come on, come on, boat train coming through! And Richard flew by. He can't do that, that's the slow line, cried Gordon. After him, Gordon, shouted his driver. We can't have him show you up like this. Gordon gave chase, but couldn't catch up. Richard had unwittingly outpaced the express. Look, pointed the fireman. He's slowing down to stop at a station. We've got him now, old boy, the driver cheered. Richard stopped happily at the station. Gordon rocketed past. 
Anyone would think he was pulling the express, snorted Gordon angrily. Someone did think he was pulling the express. The signalman slowed the express and switched Gordon onto the slow line. The distant signal warned of a red signal ahead. What's going on? huffed Gordon. Stepney was shunting trucks in the yard at Edwards Station when Gordon clanked in. He came to an incredulous halt at the platform. Soon, they heard a long, loud whistle. With headlamps swaying and steam blowing, Richard roared through the station, gathered speed and disappeared. <laughs> told you he still got it, laughed Stepney. Gordon was speechless. The boat train arrived at the harbour ahead of schedule. That evening, the story had arrived back at the sheds before Gordon. Hmm, I don't know, said a voice. Whatever you think he's got, he hasn't. If he had, he'd be used on the express, and since he isn't, then what he's got isn't there. Do you agree? Gordon wasn't sure who the voice belonged to, so decided to remain respectfully silent. Richard now shares the boat train with Bear. Due to his impressive timings, the boat train has been upgraded to express status once again, much to the delight of both engines. But the fat controller has warned Richard not to undertake on the slow line. It causes an operational nightmare for the signalman. Because of this, there is no chance of Gordon being bypassed by Richard. But if any one of the tank engines happens to bring that topic up in conversation again, Gordon seemingly manages to disappear without a trace. Thank you.